The NES Classic has 30 great games included, but after a while you might get a bit bored of them like me. Fear not, there is a way of putting extra games onto the device itself. It's pretty straightforward, but if you're going to try this mod, then you must take your own responsibility if things go wrong. Follow my guide and you really shouldn't have any issues. You can install up to 30 extra games onto the NES Classic, and you can always go back and change them if you change your mind. Please be aware you should only be transferring games that you actually own. Firstly, load the NES Classic up and start Super Mario Bros. Once the game has started, press reset. Create a save slot in the first slot for this to work. Next, hook up the NES Classic to a USB port on your computer. Go to the displayed website and download this piece of software. Now, you need to boot into a dev mode for the computer to access it. Hold reset on the NES Classic, then press power. Let go of reset after 3 seconds. Next, open the software and go to options, list all devices. Use the drop down to find the unknown device and click install driver. Next, go to this website and download the software. Once downloaded, extract it somewhere on your computer. Next, you need the tool to enable your NES games to run on the NES Classic. Go to the following website and do a direct download. Once downloaded, make sure you extract these files into the same folder as the Hackshe software. Following this, load up the Hackshe GUI. Making sure the NES Classic is still connected, click Dump U-Boot and then Dump Kernel.img. Just sit back for a bit because this process can take a little while. You might want to compare the checksum for the files you've dumped. You can compare this using a tool called WinMD53. The website is displayed below. As long as the checksum compares with any of the display, then you should be fine to proceed. Now, go to the NES ROM tool folder and open the ROMs folder. Create a folder or folders for each of your games. Here, I have created a DuckTales folder. Inside here you'll need to place your ROM file. You will also need some cover art which you can find by searching Google and make sure you label it label.png. You'll also best create a desktop config file. These files can be found with the examples included with the NES ROM tool. I've deleted these folders but you will have them. Open the config file with notepad and you can edit some of the configurations, for example the copyright and publisher names, the release date and also the volume which defaults to 90 when it really should be at 70. Next click nesromtool.bat. Remember you can do this with multiple games instead of transferring one at a time. Now return to Hatchy and click unpack kernel.img. Now click rebuild kernel.img. Click memboot which will shut down the NES Classic. Now you need to enable dev mode again. Hold down reset, turn the NES Classic on and then let go of the reset button after 3 seconds. Press the flash kernel button and then it will transfer your games and modified firmware back to the NES Classic. This can take a while. Now, as long as there's still a save slot in the first slot of Super Mario Bros, your custom games will now load. So yeah, you can only have up to 60 games on the NES Classic, which is still double what you originally get. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like and maybe subscribe. Thanks for watching.